Barb Zablotny puts the finishing touch on some cartons about to be shipped overseas. Each carton contains about 20 shoeboxes, over 4,000 in all from people in the South Okanagan who participate in Operation Christmas Child. Each shoebox is carefully packed for a boy or girl somewhere around the world. And it's packed by my oldest daughter Danica and her best friend Kristen. And they've written a note for their child on the inside. And we encourage them to tuck a photo of themselves for the children who receive the box to connect with. I'm happy that my children are thinking globally and they've encouraged their friends to do the same. I think they live in a very privileged culture and it's really nice for them to think about children who this may be the only gift they ever receive. The Roos family have brought shoe boxes they've assembled along with their friends. Many contain personal messages. And what do you tell the child about you? How old I am and where I live. Mm -hmm. and what my favorite things are. I feel excited for the person who gets the box. Young Jacoba Roos is carrying on a family tradition of giving to children in need around the world. Her mom Leslie just returned from Costa Rica where she's helped put special gifts like these into the hands of children. So this year I had the privilege of going to Costa Rica with a team from Canada and distributing the shoe boxes. It was wonderful. The children um, were so patient. They would hold their little hands out and close their eyes and wait and we'd set a box in each child's hands. They'd be organized in their age categories and gender. And when they received their box, they were almost a little unsure what to do because most of them have never received a gift. So we would open the boxes and help them take a peek and then you'd get some buy-in and there was a lot of joy and a lot of excitement uh, on the part of the receiving end for the kids. I've always packed a box expecting to bring joy to a child and a gift, but I had no idea the impact these boxes have. Some children actually cry out and with the translator, they explain to us, I've been asking for one of these. I was praying that somehow I would have something like this. And often that's in relation to school supplies. Yeah, I found the kids hung on to um, toothbrushes, teddy bears, photos and letters. Those are the things that were really meaningful to the children when they were receiving the boxes. So I think something to cuddle and the photo and the, the letter often being a way of connecting to the people at home who've prepared them. Because it ends up being way more than this gift given. Um, it helps the children get plugged into the local church who then often feed the children at times and also um, we did a couple Tom's Shoes distributions and it was through receiving their Christmas boxes that the children were connected to those centers to be asked to come and be sized for shoes. So there's lots of, lots of ways the children gain access to support and help by coming and attending a shoebox distribution. So that's pretty neat.